We are in Soho now and we are heading into a museum. It's called Mina Lume and it's a designer duo. They crafted the entire graphic design for Harry Potter and for Fantastic Beasts as well. So it's going to be interesting, I think. So it's less, less a museum. It's more an exhibition. Yeah, it is. That's what it says. And, you know, and it's and it's free. Yeah. It's really nice. And it's very, very interesting. If you have seen all of Harry Potter films and Fantastic Beast films, it's interesting because you can see we work on the smallest things like the packaging for the sweets. So, so creative. Yeah, and how much work must have gone into it. And they are originally from South America. Yes, so well. Fantastic. Yeah, it's fantastic. fantastic. It's very, very interesting. Well, we have to go here now. Herman is a German because they have original part was. Okay, going in. So this is like our guilty pleasure once a year. Typical German street food is a so German sausage and a curry sauce. And you can have it mild, hot, you have to hot. I have a mild sauce. And in Germany it's called currywurst. Yes, it's currywurst in Germany. So this is Jörg's favorite beer. And just because we have some time left, we are going to a very small museum called Pollock's Toy Museum. They have Victorian toys and it looked really interesting on the internet. So we're going to have a look there and hope you will like that as well. But yeah, let's see. And by the way, the currywurst was really nice. Like, I think we had last time we had currywurst is like five years ago at least. Oh, look, there's the museum Pollock's Toy Museum. I always
it's like, yeah, I really like the packaging, the packaging yeah. of the games. This reminds me of um, Thunderbirds. Yeah, it's Stingray. Is, is it from Thunderbirds? No, no, that's, no. That's Stingray. That no. was a different, a different and character. And we, we, we have another character at home, the Captain something. Yeah, but also Stingray because that's all I think. I think we don't have the series. Okay. I would like to see them. Now that was really special. I'm obsessed with Victorian paper theatres. I love them. I think they are so colourful and really gorgeous. And the museum is on... The sh shop and museum is yeah. on... Uh, the street is called Whitfield Street. Really worth coming. As always, I will link everything in the description box. Should you come to London, this is definitely something to check out, definitely. We just returned to the hotel and had dinner at, it's called Burner's Tavern, belongs to the Edition Hotel. It was actually the complete opposite to Maggie Jones yesterday and it was a bit hard to film, it was quite noisy but food was great, we had, I had um, I had risotto, Jörg had mac and cheese, very nice food and we had a wander around Bond Street and behind me <laughs> Jörg is checking um, our way for tomorrow, we're going to Strawberry Hill which is, it's a gothic revival villa, it looks fantastic on the internet so yeah and then we're heading to bed so we'll see you tomorrow, good night.
We made it to Strawberry Hill this morning. Yeah. And to be honest, it was easy to get here because you just uh, have to take a train. Yeah. And the train station is five minutes walk away. Yeah, from where we stayed, our nearest train station was Marble Not Arch. Much. And it took it's about an hour yeah, to get more. here. A little bit more, but it was okay. Yeah. And what we didn't know was uh, if you buy a London Underground day ticket, uh, you can travel here. Yeah. Um, Strawberry Hill is, it used to be, we read, it used to be two cottages and then Horace Walpole bought bought the estate. Yeah, and built a Gothic style villa in the middle of the 8th century here. Yeah, and Horace Walpole was the son of the first British Prime Minister, wasn't yes, he? Yes, Robert Walpole. And the villa is supposed to be really eccentric, great architecture inside, so I think it's going to be very beautiful. From what we've seen on the on the on web yes, pictures, yes, it looks amazing. And what we've now just read is we have done a lot of restoration work here. Yeah. Because 20 years ago, the house was in a really bad state. Okay. Huh? Let's go to the ticket counter. Yes. Past three days have been so windy I gave up on my hair no point in styling it whatsoever so do excuse the messy hair I can't do anything about it to be honest I think the house was absolutely stunning. Yes. And the interesting thing is, 
even when Horace Walpole lived here, you could visit the house. So, uh, so the housekeeper or he himself showed you around. Well, if he liked you. If he if, liked if you. If he yes. liked you. That's, I don't know uh, how he could tell, but <laughs> no. I, I have no idea. But no. the house, yeah. you, you could also, you can tell that Horace Walpole was very quirky and we like quirky. Yes. Beautiful details, amazing architecture. Yeah. And even if you, at the moment, only get a glimpse of because because a lot of pieces are lost because they had a, they sold a lot of pieces and are now trying to re regain things. You could imagine how this house must have been when he lived it. And they they are currently restoring more things, so work is always there is always work going on, yeah. but amazing, really yeah. amazing. So we have a few hours to go before our train leaves home for Cheshire yeah. and we thought why not stop in Richmond. Yeah, because we've because the, the things we've been here but I'm not so sure. <laughs> but it's one of the most affluent areas outside central London and yeah, nice shops and but you you can hear the planes above us so very close to is it Heathrow do you know yeah, it's Heathrow. London Heathrow so yeah but I mean it's nice look the River Thames is just is here so days in London have come to an end. We have to go home now. Yeah, it was a very nice and relaxing weekend. It was wonderful, yes. And we've seen places we haven't seen before. Yeah, and we hope you really like the tips as well. And we're going to end this video in the front of the Millennium Bridge, which always holds a special memory for us because this is when I studied in Cambridge and the bridge was new. Do you remember, yeah? Yeah, 20 years ago. 20 years ago when we first came here, it was it was great. So, hope you liked this video and of course, we're going to see you again next yeah. week. See you soon. See you soon. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.